active fungi. What do fungi do in soil? Why are they so important? See, and when I was at that, start, that stage, we had no idea. Are, are there good guy fungi? Because most people have the attitude that all fungi are bad. Make nitrate. How does Mother Nature make ammonia? What's the natural, normal nutrient cycling process to produce either of these in soils? And has it been quite successful for approximately the last billion years? Bacteria, yeah. Bacteria and fungi. So I'm going to try to get to all the mechanisms here. But if we're in a bacterial dominated soil, and we only have bacteria, you're only going to have nitrate. Is the dynamics in soil? So as bacteria are eaten by the protozoa, the nematodes, nutrients are being released, and your plant is going, thank you. Pizza delivery guy came to the door. Um, green material, see it in ratio about 30 to 1. And you want about 10% of the pile high nitrogen containing material. See the ratio around 10 to 1. Because what is this species, Priscilla? It's got a really wonderful name that I can't even remember anymore because I don't care. Right, but the diameter on this field is 450 micrometers. There's another built in scale for you 450 micrometers. I'm going to still call them Sumonis if that's okay with you. You generally know what we mean. So go into the um, gardening store, go to the nursery, um, go Google Pseudomonas, uh, cultures of or inocula or products which contain pseudomonas, a uh, piece of biomass in order to compare bacteria with fungi. And one bacterium, one fungal individual, comparison is crazy. So take a look at this wood chip pile. It is the inorganic form of nitrogen, NH4. So in protozoa eat bacteria, the form of nitrogen released is NH4. When, when uh, bacteria feeding nematodes, bubble feeding nematodes eat bacterial fungi, the form of nitrogen that's released is NH4. We're going to hold the nutrients. Our roots go deeper. We get down to the water. We do not have to irrigate. Stop with the irrigation. It's not necessary. I'll show you a sample, an example. We come back for lunch. Micrometer that we're moving. There's a different set of cakes and cookies coming out potentially. So is the pH in this root system going to be uniform? Absolutely not. So when you go out and you take now that NH2 could go on the first carbon, it could go on the second, third, fourth, whatever. Just depends on what plant requires. Now that amino acid can be carried by the flow in the xylem to wherever your plant requires. But if my plant also needs sulfur, under all the conditions that your plant is going to be experiencing all through the growing season, will we have the protective organisms there? Like all you've got is 5,000 different species, but we got lots of biomass because the plant is feeding them, but if we're limited in species, there's not going to be somebody growing and protecting every second. Typical ag soil, five micrograms. So they are managing to protect themselves by that glue. This is a scanning electron microscope shot. So we have critical point dry these organisms. So I've already, we've already done this. That aerobic bacteria, please remember that this is aerobic bacteria. 